a well-known Chinese martial art. The past few years has seen it grow in popularity in Iran, especially among women. It's a way to release energy that's trapped in the body. The sport requires a lot of patience. Usually women have more harmony, and from the perspective of physical ability, I think they deal better with the sport. It's not common to see this kind of performance in public spaces in Iran. In a country where women practicing sports is usually held behind closed doors, Tai Chi seems to be the exception. It's also not segregated like other sporting activities. This couple met at a Tai Chi festival. We practice together outdoors, at home, whenever there's an opportunity. The sport doesn't require a lot of space. The impact of Tai Chi, I can tell you, it has reduced the periods of anger and maybe our arguments end within a few minutes. Iran has a national team and an annual championship. I can tell you some 70% of people who engage in this activity in Iran are women. Many people like it and practice it in many parts of the country. In this competition, those taking part were aged between 8 and 63. Some have competed internationally. This is the third year I'm attending the national championship. Last year I got a gold and two silvers and I received an invitation to the national team. But it's in public places like this that the sport is getting most attention, inspiring others to join in, while some simply appreciate the art form. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Tehran.